Poor lovey lamb. I'm so glad that she was found. She must have been very sad when she was lost. That reminds me of a story about a lost sheep that Jesus told in the Bible. One day, Jesus was talking to some people who didn't understand what he was trying to say. To help them understand, Jesus told them a story about a hundred sheep. The shepherd loved his sheep, every single one of them. Each night, the shepherd counted the sheep as, he, as they walked into their pen. Let's count together. I have some sheep in my hand. We've got tiny little sheep. Ready? Let's count together. Ready? While they go inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. We helped six sheep find their way into the pen. Although we helped six, the shepherd in the story had a hundred. When he was counting, he was counting 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh no, one of the sheep was missing. Do you think the shepherd went, oh, well, I have 99 more sheep? No, he didn't. He was so worried. He had to go find the nine, the, the hundredth sheep, that one sheep he had to go find. They were all very special to him. So off he went looking for his sheep. He called out for his sheep. What do you think we should name our sheep? Let's name our sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Can we name our sheep, sheepy, sheepy? Say, sheepy, 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 where are you? Sheepy, sheepy. He had a very special name for every sheep, every single one. He looked every for, everywhere for his sheep. He looked up really high mountains. He looked really down lagoons. He looked everywhere. He looked in the grassy areas. He looked in the wet areas. He looked behind rocks. He looked behind trees. He looked everywhere. Cubbies, do you think you know where our sheep is? Can you find our sheep in the classroom? Do you see it anywhere? Is it under the table? No. Is it under the TV? No. Is it behind me? No. Is it up high? There's our sheep. Jesus wants us to find every single sheep. So the shepherd took his sheep and he took care of it. Jesus didn't tell us if the sheep got lost but usually sheep get lost when they wander off. They would rather do other things other than listening to their shepherd sometimes. Sometimes they get scared and hide, or sometimes they just get distracted. Now this sheep could have been very dangerous, and the shepherd gently pulled it out. Here's a picture of what the sheep might have been. He might have gotten hurt. Now, is our sheep hurt? Did you get hurt? Oh, he did get hurt. Oh, poor sheepy sheepy. The shepherd would put oil or medicine on its sores. Where does it hurt, Mr. Sheep? On your leg? Okay. He would pour a little oil on it. And then the shepherd would take some gauze. This is some gauze. And he would wrap up sheepy sheep's leg. We have two pieces. So this is gauze. That. We're going to put two pieces around sheepy sheepy. Now sometimes if the sheep was so hurt they couldn't walk. Can you walk? Can you walk? No, he couldn't walk. So the shepherd would take the sheep, grab its legs, and put it around his neck. Do you see him? How happy he is to find him? He was so happy to find a sheep. So he would carry it on his shoulders like this, and he would march. He would walk right home. He would go home with the sheep around his neck. The shepherd was so bit, so happy that he found his sheep, that they had a big party. He would guide his sheep back into the pen and say, and make sure that they were safe 
and taken care of. Cubbies, Jesus told his story to help people understand who he was. Jesus wanted them to know that he is like the good shepherd that loves us and takes care of us even if we got lost and hurt. This says Jesus is the good shepherd. So he is the what? The good shepherd. Does it say Jesus is the sheep shepherd? No, it says he's the good shepherd. Like the shepherd loves one lost sheep, Jesus loves one lost person. He loves every single one of us. Do you remember how the sheep got lost? Because it didn't, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Instead of listening to the shepherd, it did what it wanted to do. The sheep wanted to climb on the tree and he, the sheep wanted to leave. We all sin or do something that we shouldn't be doing. In the Bible, we know that sin is bad by reading the verse. It says, we all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned his own way. Isaiah 53, 6. This verse tells us that we are like sheep. We get distracted. We get, we get busy with all that we want to do. And we have turned astray. We've gone astray. We've gotten lost from what God wants us to do. Gone astray means to do sin. Do we know what sin is? Sin is anything we say, anything we do, or whatever we think that goes against God. So if God doesn't like it, if God says do not do that, it's a sin. Some sins may look like hurting a friend. A sin could be saying no to somebody who they're asked you to do something. A sin could be disobeying your parents, or a sin could be hurting somebody else. There's a lot of different sins. Even if you think it, it's still a sin. Or if you just say it, it's still a sin. And when I do something to hurt someone, it's still a sin. But we are like the good shepherd. We are like the sheep with God as God is our good shepherd. He still loves us and he's going to go take care of us. I'm so glad that Jesus loves us even though we sin. He came to the earth to save us from our sins by dying on the cross and coming again. Do you remember who came on the cross? Jesus died on the cross. When you trust Jesus as your Savior, Jesus helps you learn to follow him. What are some ways that we can follow Jesus? Well, a couple weeks ago, we learned that we can be reading our Bibles. We could pray. We could give our special gifts to God. Or we can help friends and family. There's lots of other ways to worship God, but those are just a few. Let's pray and thank God for being our good shepherd and being there for us when we go astray. Dear God, thank you so much for being our good shepherd and protecting us when we do bad things. We thank you for being there for us, even if we get lost. In your name we pray, amen.